हो गया हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज पॉलिनेशन वॉट इज पॉलिनेशन पॉलिनेशन इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन फ्रॉम एंथर टू स्टिग्मा ऑफ द सेम फ्लावर और अनदर फ्लावर दिस इज नोन एज पॉलिनेशन सो बेस्ड अपॉन दैट द पॉलिनेशन इज क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री टाइप्स वन इज ऑटोगैमी टू गेटनोगैमी थर्ड जीनोगैमी और अदरवाइज इट इज कॉल्ड एज एलोगैमी now let us see what is autogamy autogamy that pollination takes place that is transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of the same flower that is bisexual flower in the same flower transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma example pea plant that is autogamy here genetic constitution is Say there will be any variation. Then second one is gaitnogamy. Gaitnogamy here transfer of pollen grains from one flower to another flower, but in the same plant itself. It is like cross pollination, but the genetic constitution is like autogamy. Example cucurbita. The third one is xenogamy or allogamy. here actual cross pollination takes place the transfer of pollen grains from one flower to another flower of different plant from one plant to another plant example papaya maize so here what is the difference between autogamy gaitnogamy and xenogamy xenogamy or allogamy here it's cross pollination and the genetic constituents different from this gaitnogamy and allogamy the next we are going to the devices for autogamy what are the devices which is used for preventing cross pollination it uh, makes possibility for autogamy and what are the devices that prevent for cross pollination number 1 is cleistogamous flower what is the meaning of cleistogamous flower the flowers does not open at all so it ensures what is the advantages of this question is always asked in the board exam what is cleistogamous flower and give one example what are the advantages of cleistogamous flower so the answer is cleistogamous flower they does it does not open at all uh, it ensure seed set assured seed set and the pollination is assured so assured seed set that is the advantage of cleistogamous flower example camellina then second device is homogamy what is the meaning of homo homo means same anther and stigma both mature at the same time that is known as homogamy the third device which uh, which is close association between anther and stigma example mirabilis that is four o'clock plant so both anther and stigma they have a close association so it ensures uh, cell pollination it prevent the cross pollination these are the three devices for autogamy or cell pollination one is cleistogamous flower two homogamy third close association of anther and stigma these are the devices of autogamy the next we are going to that uh, what are the devices for xenogamy or allogamy number 1 is dicleni what is dicleni from di means two that is unisexual flowers either the plant will bear only male flowers or female flowers that is dicleni so we can write it here also unisexuality the plant which bears only male or female flowers the second one is dicogamy what is dicogamy again the dicogamy there are two types one is protandry what is protandry andry means so from the bird itself you can get that name that is andrisium something the bird is related to andrisium protandry anther matures first protandry before the stigma matures the anther matures that is protandry so there is no possibility of self pollination then second one is protogyny the stigma matures 
before the anther matures that is protogyny so this that is why this is known as dichogamy the third one is self incompatibility or self sterility what is this self incompatibility this is a genetic mechanism where the pollens cannot grow on the same stigma of the flower why because both have the sterile genes the stigma will not allow the pollens to grow on the stigma this is known as self incompatibility or self sterility now the fourth one is chasmogamous flowers what is chasmogamous flowers chasmogamous means open flowers chasmogamous means open flowers here the flowers which ensure the cross pollination and with the uh, exposed stamens and stigma so it will ensure chasmogamous flowers they are open flowers with exposed stamens and stigma it ensures xenogamy or allogamy these are the devices of xenogamy or allogamy one is dicleny that is unisexuality number two dicogamy anther and uh, stigma matures at different times third one self incompatibility incompatibility or self sterility fourth one is chasmogamous you have learned about pollination and types of pollination how the pollination takes place there are various agents which help the pollination what are the agents you have already learned in the previous classes uh, that is wind water and insects if uh, water is a medium for pollination that is known as hydrophilic if insect is the medium insect is a uh, pollinator which carries the pollen to from one flower to another flower that is entomophily if wind is the pollinating agent that is known as anemophily so based upon the pollinating agents pollinations of three types hydrophily entomophily and anemophily now let us uh learn about that hydrophily what are the adaptations the flowers which have to ensure pollination that is through the medium uh, water that is hydrophily what are the adaptation now let us see one by one what are the adaptation in uh, hydrophytes what is the meaning of hydrophytes plants which grow in water they are known as hydrophytes so hydrophytes the medium of pollinating agent is water no doubt so what are the advantages what are the adaptations for this hydrophily one is flowers they are not colorful and not they do not produce nectar then pollens are prevented by wetting how by the covering of mucilaginous substance over the pollen for example in jastra it is a sea grass example of uh, sea grass it is a submerged hydro submerged means it will grow under the water it will not float it is just under the water what is the type of pollen pollen here the pollen is long and needle like to ensure the hydrophily then you have learned that valisneria and hydilla these two are also submerged again example of submerged hydrophytes with to ensure that hydrophily what are the adaptation this plant valisneria has here the uh, plant is bears male flowers separately and female so what happens the male flowers with the pollen are matured it, it uh, pollen is released it is submerged plant so released and it float on the surface of water when the stigma matures what will happen the female uh, flower has a stalk which comes and float on the surface of water so when it uh, by physical carrier from the water current the anther uh, the pollen reaches the female flower then what will happen this stalk will coil up after pollination this is the adaptation valinaria has so these are the adaptation the hydrophytic plants Uh, which have to ensure the hydrophily the next one we are going to endomophily what is endomophily endomophily here the pollinating agent is insects so insects uh, if the flower has to attract so the flower has to attract means it has to be colorful so flowers are large 
and they are colored and they are sticky why they are sticky because they secrete nectar honey and mostly the flowers are fragrant it uh, secrete the nectar honey and sweet scent uh, smell to attract the insects then pollen and stigma both are sticky in entomophily flowers why because when the insect carry the pollen this it has to stick on the stigma that is why and the, it has the pollen has to stick on the body of insect that is why the pollen is uh, sticky then uh, certain flowers which give safe place for uh, laying the eggs of insects example amorphophilus it give safe place to lay eggs then some flowers they uh, secrete uh, fall odor which is not good to uh, smell but to attract the beetle and flies some uh, plants they secrete uh, this of uh, fall odor smell so these are the adaptation of insect pollinated flowers to ensure the entomophily or pollination these are the adaptation the third one which we are going to study now is anemophily anemophily in the previous class you with uh, you all have learned that anemometer what is that anemometer you all know that related to wind it is used to measure the speed of wind then anemophily here wind is the pollinating agent what are the adaptation uh, which the wind pollinating uh, flowers are there uh, have wind sorry wind pollinated flowers have flowers are not colorful like hydrophily here wind pollinated flowers they do not secrete uh, nectar they are not colorful like hydrophily second one then flowers are not single like entomophily because here it is very large here the flowers are small and compact and packed into inflorescences then uh, pollen grains are uh, dry and they are light in weight and non sticky so that it can easily uh, carried by wind then uh, stigma is long uh, sticky and feathery uh, you have seen that uh, corn cob the stigma that uh, the corn when which you eat you have seen that the brown color uh, feathery long hair like structure which comes out that is the stigma and which is sticky why it is uh, feathery to capture the uh, and long and feathery and sticky to capture the uh, pollen grains from the wind wind which carries the pollen grain that to capture that then um, yeah, well exposed stamens here you can see in the picture this is the inflorescence their flowers are compactly packed there is but the stamens are well exposed why so that the wind it can be easily carried by wind these are the adaptation of anemophily flowers so today you have learned about uh, pollination types of pollination and what are the adaptation uh which the hydrophily hydrophytes and insect pollinating flowers and wind pollinating flowers have so go through the video i will give you some questions uh that assignment you have to complete and you have to send it to me